Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here. And the other day, I had this very lofty idea to create a junk journal and 30 ways that you can decorate one. And I was going to put up a video every day during the month of June so that by the end of the month, we had an experimental journal put together. Now, I made a cover, got some papers together. I made a list of the 30 things I want to make. And then reality set in. Due to lack of time, because there's this thing called life one has to do, I'm not going to get it done in 30 days. But we're going to go ahead with this anyway, because I've come up with some fun things to experiment with. Um, some interesting ways to use junk and I've also collected a lot of freebie things along the way that I will share and you can access them yourself, especially if you don't have the money to spend on kits every time you want to do a journal. But look, let's get this started. I came up with a hashtag JJJ30 because I was supposed to do it for junk journal June I was going to make up and have it done in 30 days. But reality is I know that won't happen. But let's move on with what I've done so far. And if you'd like to join me on this journey, I hope you do. And the hashtag will be JJJ30 because if you do any of these things, I'd love to see them. Share them on social media and... Um, Let's just have some fun together. So the first thing, obviously, one needs a journal if one wants to do an experiment like this. So I grabbed one of my favourite journal boxes. It's a Nescafe sachet box. It makes a cute little journal. It gives you a nice, generous spine, so you can put lots of goodies in it. But it's not so big, so I think that's a great way, especially if you've never made one before, and you don't want a giant journal to have to fill, this is a really fun little way to do it. So I started off with this box, which I cut open, and then this spare down, bit down the side, obviously we only need one side connected to the front and back. I always stick this spare bit inside to give the spine a little bit of extra strength. Now, all I did with this was completely covered it in book pages for now. It gives you an interesting background. Um, I have some ideas on how, what else I want to add to this cover, but we'll get to that down the track. You need somewhere to start. And I just think using up book pages is a great way to do it. So I lined the inside and the outside with book pages and used my trusty coffee in a spray bottle just to add a bit of color. But we will add more to that down the track. So very simple. Anyone can do this. All you need to do is be able to use a glue stick. So that's it. I Look, there's a couple of little bits I can see here. It didn't quite stick down, but we're going to embellish that. We won't stress about such silly things. So we have a cover. Very simple. Then I raided my stash and we need some papers if we want to make a journal. So what I've collected here... Uh, this is just a simple piece of coffee dyed paper. If you can use anything, magazine pages, newspaper, anything you want. I just went through my stash box really quickly, picked out a few things. And what I did, pages that were too large, I have folded them down rather than cutting them all to the perfect size. I may very well cut this off if I decide I don't want to use it. But just for now... It becomes an instant tuck spot slash pocket. Or as I said, if I want to cut it off, I can do that. But I didn't cut anything off the larger ones. So let's see, what else have we got here? Um, this is a leftover piece from a jelly printing exercise. I love the colors on that. So that one can, is coming along. This is a piece of, um, oh, I, in day so ages ago, I bought um, a three pack of exercise books that are in this lovely craft colored paper. It has very faint lines on it. 
Um, I did tear this one off because I actually had a tear on that page. So that was that, was that one. This is a piece of echo dyed paper from an experiment I did a while ago. I have got a video on that. Loved this piece of leftover cardstock. Um, what I did do, I have already glued this down and cut out holes. I will definitely keep this one. There was no way I was going to waste that paper. This is just a piece of packaging that I literally tore off the main bit. Another piece of echo dyed paper. This is coffee and pink paint dyed paper, a bit of watercolour. It started off when I was coffee dyeing. I must have used my plastic sheets that I protect the table with, with something pink. And when I first did it, I put it down and I ended up with all these pink blotches. But I decided I quite liked that. And again, haven't cut any off this yet. I may very well do so, but at the moment I've left it the way it is. Cute little piece. Um, this is from a little tiny stay. Um, oh, what do you call it? What's these things? <laughs> oh dear, we're having a mental blank moment here. A dictionary. That's the magic word we want. And of course, the size was perfect. Um, another piece of oh, this. Actually, this is from a magazine. This is, I think, from a um, Breathe magazine. I liked that. And then you've got the lines in there. I may very well turn this the other way round so that you could use those lines to write on. But let's wait and see. Lovely piece of uh, tissue paper. This is a little envelope. Now, this journal is going to be too big to put a lot of envelopes in, as you can see. But I wanted to use it. So what I've done, I folded it in half. And then I trimmed the inside of the flap off. And that way, when it goes into the journal, you have two pockets, one on each side once it's sewn in. That's a handy way to use up bigger envelopes. This is another piece of echo dyed paper. This one still has one of the flowers attached. So definitely wanted to use that. And of course, finally, a some music paper. Again, left the flaps on. Let's wait and see whether we need them or not. So what I've done, I've got 15 sheets here. So I am going to put three signatures in here, five pages in each. That will, of course, give me more than 30 pages to play with. But um, I, a couple of the ideas that I've got, um, I will be doing a double style spread. So I made sure that I had some extra pages to use. So there we go. That is the start of JJJ30. I would love it if you would play along with me. I want to experiment. I want to end up with a cute little journal full of all different ways that you can decorate it. There's a, quite a few people on YouTube that have done a similar sort of thing, but I am going to focus on using magazines and things like that, things that are easy to get hold of, things that are not going to cost you a fortune, especially if you're starting out in junk journal world. I think this might be a fun way to play. So I hope you'll come along for the ride. If you are not already a subscriber, I would love it if you would join along and play with me. And that's it for now. Take care until next time. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.